Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about President Biden and Speaker Johnson and uh, a request, the National Guard, and then a question that is kind of entertaining but can be used to be pretty informing as well. Okay, so if you've missed the news, you don't know what's going on, Speaker Johnson and a collection of other Republicans in Congress have called upon President Biden to send the National Guard into the colleges where the demonstrations are. Um, if only there was something in American history that might be able to inform our opinion of this suggestion. Maybe something that occurred sometime between 1969 and 1971, and it's not 1969 or 1971. It, it's 1970, May 4th, 1970, in Ohio. Um, if there was such an event, it might suggest that this is a mistake, that that would be a really bad idea. Now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the next part. If that mistake is to be made, it's to come at the request of the governor, not the president. It's the governor's responsibility to make that request. Speaker. Um, now, the White House was asked about this, and they said that's the governor's responsibility. In a weird way, they also did not confirm whether or not they would sign off on it, which is odd. Um, signing off on a request like that is very much a rubber stamp, um, just historically speaking. It, it, it was a weird statement. It may not mean anything at all. It was just odd. Okay, so the short recap here is people in Congress are requesting the president to send troops into colleges and that's a bad idea, but more importantly, that is supposed to be at the request of the governor, which you would think the Republicans who constantly talk about states' rights would understand that part, but whatever. Um, now the entertaining question, and it was basically, hey, I have a friend who's you know very much in favor of these demonstrations, but they're outposting saying that the National Guard should be sent in. Why? Uh, my guess is that your friend has read the manuals. Generally speaking, if you have a demonstration and you use military force to put it down, um, it spreads. It spreads. It's in all of the manuals. It's, it's Regardless of what you actually think about the demonstrations, whether you are for or against them, understand the manuals that, you know, were developed over decades and millions of dollars worth of research and all of that stuff say that that's the wrong move. If you would like to see it play out in recent memory, think about Trump's mistakes up in the Pacific Northwest. That kind of response causes the, uh, the demonstration, the event to spread. It doesn't put it down. Um, your friend is an accelerationist um, and is basically hoping that they do it so the demonstration spreads. I would remind everybody that generally speaking when that kind of force is used to put down a demonstration people get hurt. It's probably not something to, to wish for. But uh, yeah, country's doing great. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.